<laughs> good game, good game, y'all. Wow, what a That was four. a tough one. Wow. The Spurs came into the arena earlier with one thought on their mind. Walking kill, the kill, wind. kill. Welcome everyone. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports for this NBA presentation. Along with Grant Hill and Richard Jefferson, this is Brian Anderson. Oh yeah, we're going to make them pay. Here's the starting group for the San Antonio Spurs. Inside at the four and five, it's Sohan and Wimbanyama. Vassell and Johnson are the two and the three. And it's D in at the point. And for the Timberwolves, inside we got Towns and Gobert. Edwards at the two with McDaniels at the three. Yeah, we got to make them play. And at the point guard position. Well, Grant, a lot of firepower in the building tonight. A couple of teams coming in who can't And that's how, you know how we do that? Set Games the crowd like up. This always excite me, B.A. Make the crowd be quiet. Right Very now. quiet. So I'm anticipating an uptick in intensity tonight. And the Spurs start out with a ball. On offense, here is San Antonio. Here's D. Turned in an outstanding game against Utah. He buries it from three. Uh oh. The first of many tonight. You got an Both NC on that, though. Legit offensive talent. And if everything goes to plan, this could be a very fun matchup to watch. Now here's Conley. Shot from 12. Second chance effort. Oh, Shut it out. Locks it off the glass. Wow. Inside. Woo. And down it goes. Jam that one home. Oh, nice one-handed jam there, B.A. Hey, little exclamation point. Pass to Gobert. Oh, it's no go. And he's able to oh, get shit. Sinks it from distance. Just a smart offensive player. I he didn't jump at that. He should look to rise and fire. I love it. Time called here. San Antonio decides to talk it over. Last time they met in San Antonio. They came away with an easy win last time. Due in large part to their work on the glass. And if they can keep that same physicality, you have to think they'll be in a good position to grab another win here. And while we have a moment, let's recognize a player who has been working hard lately. Your Western Conference Player of the Week. He's made himself the cornerstone of their offensive Damn efforts right. recently. And he's providing for his squad in every regard on that end of the floor. Scoring, passing, picks. You name it, he's doing it. Here's D. Pass to Wimanyama. Over Who's Gobert. Playing, Wim? Again, the Spurs score. Let's go. And you see how fluid Wimbanyama is. Let's go, Wim. Seven foot five guys shouldn't be able to move like this. Now here's Conley. Here's Gobert, covered by Wimbanyama. Gobert, no good. Just haven't found their offensive footing yet, only managing to sink one of their first five shots. Ah, oh, come on Minnesota now. What would you say about their front office, Graham? Well, B.A., they want to be as competitive as possible. Whether it's who they are drafting, trading for, or signing in free agency, this team's goal is to be taken seriously out west. Here's Towns. Oh, you can have that. I ain't fouling them. I know that. Better floor generals. Really, over the last decade, Conley plays with an old school pass first mindset. Here's Whoops. D. Five points in the game. He finds a shooter in motion and is confident he can thread him with the lead pass. Well done. The Timberwolves have gone two of six to open up this game. Conley looking for an opening. Oh, and go there. Powers it home. Attack with the passer and finish. Here's D. All right. Wimanyama. Ooh, he's looking comfortable now. Let's go, y'all. Starting to find his rhythm. He's cooking and he knows it. Yeah, when he gets engaged this early in the game, it's bad news for the defense. He can roll this start throughout the rest of the game. Come here. Here's D. He's guarded by Conley. Ooh, took him Come out. Time at all to get that one. 
Man, that's now 10 straight points in the paint. I'm not sure what's happened to their defense. Pass to Towns. Here's Gobert. And he's going to the line for two. See, that's the how they're going to do his job, foul. For his career, Gobert's field goal percentage is in the same ballpark as his free throw percentage. Grant, some think of Gobert as just a defensive specialist, but he's proven to be more than that. Yeah, B.A., I like how Rudy uses his height to his advantage inside. Focuses on taking high percentage shots that come to him naturally. Here's D. He's got five. Yeah! Well, Victor doesn't have too far to go. I mean, he just pops up to the rim, makes it look so easy. McDaniels finds Conley. Oh, and Johnson with a block. Outside Wimbanyama. Puts up a three. And he stays with it. And there are the Spurs with another bucket. Very consistent tonight at the offensive end. Right there, he helps fuel the fire. The cell against Edwards. Oh. Played it in with a nice touch off the window. Good life. You got to bring more muscle if you want to stop. about the yam that beast, too. He's gifted at converting through contact. Here's Oops. D. He's guarded by Connor. Ah. Oh, Wimbun Yaba throws it down. And breaking out the one hand slam. Man, an emphatic way to extend the lead a little more. Now, Edwards. A 32 point game for him in the win against Brooklyn. Clock at six. Conley against Vassell. Second chance shot. Oh my. And draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. It's going to be on Victor Wimanyama. And the stifled tower makes his presence out on the offensive end. He's really developed an array of moves on the interior. Well, Richard, the All-Star break miss allows it. fans to celebrate the NBA. Let's go. Our players, though, they use it as a time to get away. How about you? Did you have a go-to vacation spot during the break? No, I lived in San Diego, so I would pretty much just go back there and relax and then Whoops. get back to work. Yes, the sir! Good. He got it to go, and he took the bump. So a free throw coming up. Ow. An opportunity at a three-point play. I know. We know you did it. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown. Glad you needed it. I've really been impressed with how aggressive they've been inside. Looking to capitalize from the paint whenever they can. And, and another thing, they found the open man. Really playing unselfish basketball. Moving the ball around there on the perimeter. Free throw good, Wimbanyama. And with the eight-foot wingspan of Wimbanyama, it feels like he releases the ball halfway to the bucket. Pass to Edwards. Gobert against Wimbanyama. Back to Edwards. Perfect pass to set up the lay-in. Attacking in the painted area. Clearly that was their game plan coming in. Here's D. He's got five. Wimbanyama with it. Pass to D. Let's it fly. And again, it's San Antonio converting. And they've settled in quickly today. A nice flow and rhythm to their offense. Conley with the ball. He had an 18-point outing in their last game against Brooklyn. Gobert passes to McDaniels. Shoots over Johnson. It's hauled in by Wimbanyama. He did everything in his power to make that a hard shot. Excellent D. Avoided fouling and got in yeah. perfect position to alter that shot. Edwards with it. He's picked up by Vassell. Right side, McDaniels. Towns outside. Pass to Edwards. He shoots. Here's Gobert. And the rebound paying off as they pick up two on the second chance bucket right there. And you know he's tough on the glass. Easy money there for Gobert. Here's D. Seven points in the game to the paint. Here's Wimbanyama. Whoa. And how about that? Eight for nine now. Come on, Wim. 
I can't big him up too much. He started fucking up on me. And he's going for the oop here. Oh man, why you didn't catch it? With his length and energy, Wimbayama has the ability to be a game-changing defender. Here's D. To the inside. Right, and right. Whistle uh. way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Rudy Gobert picks one up. No, no, I know, I know. Sick. Look, he mad as hell. You know you fouled that man. He got you with the pump fake, man. Free throw good, Wimbanyama. And the Timberwolves. Oh, and they get. Oh, I got to go. Checked in for I got to go. Okay. Warren comes in for McDaniels. Alexander Walker. He's checked in for Edwards. And it's Morris in for Conley. And San Antonio with a change here, too. Jones has checked in. What says you gotta go? And both free throws good for Wimbin Yama. For a star like him, you All get right. lots of opportunities at the line, and he's great at cashing them in. And Minnesota calls time here. Victor Wimbin Yama really making a difference here. He's been on an absolute tear inside. They've got to figure out a way to keep him out of the lane. I don't know. I don't even think I got 10. Minnesota's gone one or two from three point land so far. Morris passes to Towns. What's this? Uh Bearing his second of three attempts. Nice positioning and footwork on point. And town so smooth down there inside. <laughs> Pass to Sohan. <laughs> Outside Jones. Fires for three. The rebound by the Timberwolves. And here is Morris. He picked up 15 in their last win against Brooklyn. And how about the pass? We've seen this from him. He's just absolutely shredding the D to pieces right now. The defense has to be better. Flat out, can't give Warren these types of lanes to the bucket. Women Yama, pass to Sohan. Outside Jones. Now here's Johnson. Still no points. Over Warren. They get it again. Here's Sohan. Covered by Towns. The shot by Sohan, no good. Showing great intensity around the rim. It's part of why he's a respected defender. Yeah, you can see why he's established that reputation. Strong understanding of how to defend at the rim. Now here's Jones. He's averaging about six points per game. Is the glass on the layup and the Spurs lead by 11 and they're behind right now because they're failing to play quality defense it's that simple here's Alexander Walker he's guarded by the cell the shot by Towns no good the defense just giving him the easy look there he's not gonna miss <laughs> that oh damn he almost did there's no one to blame but himself. Oh, and that one, no oh. question. Powered it down. And what an aggressive move to the rim. He's really trying to fire up his teammates right now. Boy, it's not hard to feel inspired after a teammate makes that kind of finish. And that could be the spark they needed to make a little run as they try to even this thing up. Here's Jones. Goes back up. Here's Wimbanyama. Oh, he got him with a pump fake, wow. but he couldn't finish. I love how they've attacked the boards here in the first quarter.
Here's Wesley. On the court for San Antonio here in the second. We've got Zach Collins. Boyan Bogdanovich out there with Jetty Osman. And it's Wesley my boy. in at the two spot. Here's D. A 12-point game. One low. The shot by Wesley. No good. And so it's Conley who brings up the ball for Minnesota. Their next game playing at home as oh, yeah. the Grizzlies come to town. Here's Collins. Oh, and then it's Collins with the dunk. And I think that play tells you everything you need to know. They're simply playing at a higher level. Getting a steal and turning it into quick points. And that oh. one's good from Conley. Look at yeah, the one from Conley. That one's that bad. Right this league and won't go down easy. That one's that bad. Well, D in their last time out against the Jazz really lit up the floor. He had an unbelievable amount of points, and he's a tremendous three-point shooter. We saw that again last game, a game that nobody will soon forget, that's for sure. How is he going to follow that up tonight? We'll see, guys. Thanks, Allie. Absolutely. Come on, sir. It's a one-man show in that one, Grant. Yeah, he was not going to let them lose that game. Come on, sir. We'll see if he comes in with that same mentality tonight. And I'll be interested to see if the opposition looks to double him because this should Come be on, sir. opportunities for his teammates to get going. Now here's McDaniels. He picked up 15 <coughs> in the last win against Brooklyn. Go Bear with the bucket. Yeah, That's how he was. He too big for you. To seek out his offense, especially when he's this deep. Here's D. Come on, sir. By Conley. Collins. Oh, no wow. Look, the defense was locked in on him there. They know how dangerous he can be, and they guarded him perfectly. Edwards. Ooh. Some say it's the team's job at times to protect players. I don't blame you, Wesley. He was about to, he was about to do some nasty to you, boy. I think teams now are much He was about to yam that bitch. Load and risk, and looking more at the long-term big picture of their players. First free throw is good. And looking at Edwards, the offensive skills he has are impressive. Now he must focus on improving his defense. Yeah, he was about to yam it on you. And both free throws good, good for Edwards. For San Antonio, they've gone two of four here in the second quarter. Here's D. He's guarded by Conley. D, the pass to Wesley. Back a little bit. Here's D. Right there. And again, it's the Spurs from deep. Now shooting the three ball at Good almost shot. 60%. Right there. They've been blazing this second quarter. And he lobs it up. And out Good of pass. Bounds, San Antonio will have it. I like them passes. How much teams lean on their shooting guards to score the ball consistently. Here's a look at the two guards who have been filling it up this season. Anthony Edwards on top. Yeah, and his initiative goes a long way. I mean, we've seen it all season. He can gut defenses however he sees fit. Look, if there's a shot available, he'll take it. And he gives him some big numbers when he does it. Here's D. 13 points in the game. No, man. Damn, what you right now? Pass to Wesley. Shot clock at six. Here's D. Poke loose. And the shot clock expires. 24 second violation. And a chance now to take a look at some numbers for him. Whoa! And Minnesota has possession. It's a 14 point game. From deep, Conley sends it home from three point land. Conley's got five points now this quarter. Well, Conley can be a volume score from the arc. The defense can't let him just have those opportunities. San Antonio calls timeout. They defeated Utah in their last game. And most of the arena was totally against them. But they looked inward, trusted each other, and made good plays. Even with all that noise, when they had the ball, it never rattled oh, them. Their okay. offense was in tune like it was I hope they come game. back.
already it's February. Let's see how things look out west. You look at the Spurs. A fantastic season so far for them. First place in the conference. And of course the Timberwolves not posing much of a threat right now. Right now for the Spurs, they've been a real Cinderella story for sure. It's clear they believe in themselves. That kind of camaraderie is so valuable to a team's success. Well, they had a plan coming into this year, and they stuck with it, and it's worked out to perfection. And so it's Edwards who brings up the ball for the T-Wolves. They trail by 11. The shot's good. And the focus never broke there for Edwards. San Antonio's gone two of three from beyond the arc so far in the second. Here's D. Hits a three-pointer. D's got 16 points. Man, they're having a hard time defending the triple. That's three in a row. Here's Conley. Rebound San Antonio. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. Here's D. 16 points for him. Pass to Collins. Here's D. And again, it's the Spurs from deep. And this is how he shines. He's a big part of their floor. They're playing too much. Yeah, you got to know where he is at all times, especially when he's roaming around the perimeter ready to fire. Now here's Gobert. He picked up 18 points in their last win against Brooklyn. And can we talk about the best part? His defense. His shot blocking was simply... Whoa! Here's D. Well. Five on the clock. To the middle. Another shot. Do it to him. Oh, why number. you do it like Tim that? Have gone four for seven in the second quarter. Should have went for the layup. To the left side wing. Back to Conley. Oh, there's the alley. Oh, man, take a look at that one. Just a textbook alley. Beautifully done. He's served it up on a platter. Okay, we get it. Here's D. And again, it's the Let's Spurs go. from deep. Wow, five consecutive threes. This defense looking very frustrated right now. McDaniels finds Conley. Now here's Gobert. Collins defending. The floater. Oh! And the chance. My Gobert. bad, my bad, my bad. No luck. They battled on the glass, but they couldn't knock it down. San Antonio has gone 7 of 11 from outside the arc. Nice percentage from distance so far. D, the pass Oops. to Collins. Come on now. Pass, and he goes you gotta make to them the count. You too little. Collins has got nine points. And, and just not letting up at all. I mean, you have to love this approach. You want to get the ball to the guys who make plays. This is when good players really get after it. He can sense that they're ah, really I should have done that. On the pedal. Let's go. He might have thrown himself off when he saw how much space he had from three. Down low. Osman with the bucket. Balanced play has given them the lead and also quieted this crowd. Uh oh, Dub City. Fantastic ball, and you can feel the hush that's Nah, we want them even more ground. quiet. Now here's Edwards. Give him eight. <coughs> to stop the run. That one's wide left. Oh, yeah, let's go. The Spurs have gotten 8 of 13 shots to fall in the second quarter. Oh, shit. Here's D. He's guarded by Conley. D, the pass to Collins. Okay. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. First personal foul. First and RJ, I'll tell you, Zach Collins, he is an instigator on the court. Hey, yeah, man, yeah, the type of player you love to have on your team and hate on other teams. He does all of that hard nosed stuff. Every quality team always has a player like him on their side where he just knows how to be a thorn in the side. And the first one at the line is good. And the Timberwolves will go for a different look here. Carl Anthony Towns okay. has checked in for Gobert. Warren comes in for Reed. Alexander Walker, he's checked in for McDaniels. And it's Morris in for Conley. Minnesota's gone one of two from deep in the second quarter. Morris passes to Alexander Walker. 
inside. Stolen by Collins. All right, let's go. Let's steal. Pass to D. Now Jones. Okay. Here's D. He's got 22. Collins, left Oops. side. And ah! Collins with the slam. They've been very well-rounded and extremely focused. Yeah, not just an impressive showing on offense, but on defense time out, time as well, out. executing their game plan perfectly. Minnesota calls timeout. A chance here to catch up with Allie from the sideline. Well, Carl Anthony Towns is a threat from everywhere on the court. He said, quote, if I yeah, need to man. shoot, I can shoot. If I need to post up, be a bruiser, I can be Good a bruiser. Time to play with I'm these. not a specialist in anything. What I can do is be a very versatile player and try to do every single thing really well. Brian. Right, right, yeah, right. That's right. good stuff there. Allie, thank you. Hits the Spurs, delivering the blowout. And join us right back here after the break for the start of the second half. Right, right. Ain't <clears throat> bad. The oh, oh, six for seven. Ain't bad. Oh, seats for sale. Could have been worse than that, but you know, I eased up on. Um After a I very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly in the second. Victor Wimbanyama really making a difference here. And he was a beast on the offensive glass in that first half. How can they slow him down? The way to limit those offensive boards, it's just effort, guys. Whoever mm -hmm, is going mm -hmm. has to get to position and beat him to the spot. Edwards at the two with McDaniels at the three. They have their two big men out there. My bad, Will. That was my fault. Inside. And it's Conley in at the point. And that's the group for Chris Finch as we begin the second half. Here's the three. Knocks down the triple. Conley's got 11 points. When he gets a quality look like this at the perimeter, he can almost be automatic. Here's D. He's guarded by Conley. D, the pass to Wambanyama. Oh, they get a hand on it. And stolen by Gobert. Edwards looking for an opening. Kicks it out, Towns. 4-3. And the Timberwolves hit again from deep. And that's what makes Towns so dangerous offensively. He's a threat even oh. when he's playing off the ball. That right. Second half of basketball. Just over a minute played so far. Credit to him for trying to get that three right back. Missed the shot. I know, right? We were trying. Mentality. The shot by Conley. No good. Conley's gone 4 of 11 tonight. Here's D. I'm not counsel that. We getting that three back. Nails it from beyond the arc. Counsel that. Got 25 points. Oh. Oh. Can't lose a shooter like him on the court. The ball will find its way to him, and he will drill a three each time. Drill it. Edwards against Vassell. You want the drill? From 12 feet. Edwards finds Towns. Clock is at nope. three. The rebound by the Spurs. Yeah, we're leaving you open. Sohan's got four rebounds in the game. Gotcha. The paint. Oh, let's go. Fantastic lead pass. Up strong for the slam. Something Vassell is only improving at. Recognizing these chances to drop an easy dime. Outside Conley. And he drives in. Come on. Come on. on Good D by Wimbanyama for San Antonio. Did, oh, they, they, oh, they, get, they don't give me no credit. The break. Come on, man. A touch over two and a half minutes of basketball on, played here in the third quarter. D, the pass to Sohan. Over Gobert. And it's Gobert with a rebound. 
Gobert's got the glass covered here tonight. Maybe he's gonna miss that. He's fumbling the ball. With the ball. And Johnson picks him up defensively. And that one's good from Conley. Rising up with assertiveness, Conley always recognizes when he should shoot off the dribble. Women Yama, the pass to D. Back to Women Yama. Good D by Gobert. For Minnesota, they've gone three of seven here in this third quarter. The cell oh, against really? Edwards. Towns outside. Outside Edwards. Let's it fly. It's hauled in by Wimbanyama. No clue how he misfired on that shot. You don't see that from him very often. D, the pass to Wimbanyama. The layup misses. All right, that's it for y'all. Minnesota's gone five of eight from outside the three-point line on this one. San Antonio foul. Keldon Johnson. First personal foul. First team foul. At the line for your Timberwolves. That one misses. The Timberwolves making a switch here. Reed's checked in. And San Antonio with a change here, too. Bogdanovich has checked in for Johnson. He hits the second from the line. San Antonio has gone to one of two shooting from the perimeter since halftime. Here's D. He's guarded by Conley. This one for three. Counted from distance. D's got eight here in this quarter. He's just lighting them up in this game. The D's going to have to extend a little bit more, or he's going to keep knocking them down from deep. Now here's Conley. He's got uh -oh. 13. Oh, looks good. Okay. Scoring well this quarter, picking up steam as he goes. Here's D from outside the arc. And it's Gobert with a rebound. I know that Gobert. was right. Edwards against Vassell. And Edwards with the basket uh -oh. on the assist by Conley. Edwards got 12. Outstanding work in close. Edwards is just so confident from this area. Here's D. He's guarded by Conley. Oops. And he dumps it down. He may not have that traditional power forward build, but his balance, well, that kind of levels the playing field. Into the lane. And he gets it to go. 17 points in the game. Looks like we're oh, starting to see a on here. Not afraid to get in the paint. Pattern. Here's D. He's guarded by Conley. D. That's it. To and ah! Wimbanyama. And the offensive skills of Wimbanyama are a huge part of his high value. And nice to see him delivering. McDaniels with it. Now guarded by Wimbanyama. Oh, no, you're not. No, you're not. A nice rebound. Trying to match the other team's intensity. No, you're not. Right Let's go. The one hand dunk just looks so fluid. Yeah, and absolutely. Even smooth when he's powering at home like that. Pass to Reed. Back to Conley. Soft touch off the glass. Conley's got 11 here in the quarter alone. He's a new man okay. this half. Playing with much better intensity and getting results. To the inside. Good. Go bear with a steal. Here's Edwards. San Antonio with a rebound. Wimban Yama's got rebound number 13 for him here tonight. Pass to D. Yeah. Bogdanovich with it from Oops. downtown and again let's go assist. that makes 15 assists he has been one step ahead of the defense all game long outside Conley and there's the drive the putback it's good on the putback <clears throat> want to talk about length Gobert's arms right. go on forever a major threat right. for putback slams 
indeed. Ooh. Pass to Wimbanyama. Yes, sir. And the dunk by Wimbanyama. <laughs> yeah, it's easy to see why they go to him so often because they know they can depend on him to come through for them. Now here's Conley. Tight defense on him. Uh-uh. Gobert finds Conley. McDaniels from long range. Yes, great play by Conley to set it up. Conley's got assist number five here tonight. Here's D. He's guarded by Conley. Here's D. All right. And again, All right. it's the Spurs from deep. <laughs> That's how you up the ante. Come right back at him. Yeah, I love the competitive fire right there. You drain a triple on us, and I'm coming for my revenge. Here's Gobert. The kick out to Conley from behind nope. the arc. You're not doing it. It's Edwards on the wing. You're not doing that. And there's the foul. It's on Rudy. Really, Gobert. man. That's foul number two for him. Alexander Walker, he's checked in for Edwards. Collins, he's checked in for San Antonio. Osman comes in for Sohan. Yeah. San Antonio has gotten 12 of their points this quarter from deep. Four of six. Here's D. He's guarded All by Conley. Right. Connects from downtown. D's got 36 points. They're in strong position coming down the stretch, and he is a big reason why. Pass to Reed. To the middle. Here's Gobert. Nice assist and nice uh, finish. Solid play all the way around. Gobert's got 14 points for the game. Here's D. He's got 36 points. Another basket. He's now six for seven in the contest. And trust me, when the D's slow to react, he'll be the first guy to make them pay. Yeah, they're going to do a much better job of putting a little bit of pressure on him on his way to the hoop. Now here's Conley. He's got 19. Pick him Pass up. Daniels takes a three. San Antonio with a rebound. Collins has got his fifth rebound in this one. He's been off right. this whole period. Unable to sustain any kind of consistency. The assist numbers certainly stand out. They've really emphasized ball movement here today. Here's Conley. Taking a look at his numbers. Averaging about 11 a game. Pass to Reed. Nah, ain't nobody playing with y'all. Daniels inside. Bogdanovich on him. Just an ugly show Come for on. him offensively. You have no way to describe it. Just ugly, and that hasn't helped. Inside. Here's Collins. Whoa. The rebound, Minnesota. And you got to give credit to the D for never giving up on the plate and doing just enough to bother him at the rim. Here's Conley. And that one's long. <laughs> And so uh -oh. it's Collins who brings up the ball for the Spurs. Oh, Here's Dean. oh a big finish with a one-handed jam. Nice ball movement there. That's how you break down the defense. <laughs> Minnesota's gone six for 12 from deep so far in this game. Knocks it loose. Ooh. Oh, and a fast break for the Spurs. And he's uh -oh. up to the rim. His energy is uh -oh. unmatched. And all of a sudden, that man was just on the other end. Wow. Left side, Conley. Come on, come on. Oh, let's smack that. Collins with the rebound. How about the unselfishness of this team? <laughs> yeah, the willingness All to make right. the pass awesome. has this defense scrambling. Take him there. There's been a stark contrast between these teams. I'm talking about efficiency at the offensive end. Oh, shit. And start oh, shit. With their oh, defense. Right. They've been intense on that end, and they can actually help their offense. Stay on, well. stay on them. Minnesota has possession after the basket by San Antonio. It's obvious they're becoming frustrated. Nothing seems to be going their way. In a major drought, need to find some sort of momentum. Here's I ripped D. his heart out. And again, Let's go. San Antonio with a three. Talk about putting a team on your back. He has been dominant this quarter, and I don't think they are winning without him. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming. You got that. First personal foul, second team foul. At the line for Minnesota, Nakiel Alexander Walker. Oh, 
And he drops the first. Some changes for Minnesota. Carl Anthony Towns has checked in for Gobert. TJ Warren okay. comes in for McDaniels. And it's Morris in for All Mike right. Conley. Keep him, keep him up. Second free throw, no good. You have to credit their effort. I mean, they've done an amazing job on the glass. Pass to Branham. Now Jones, guarded by Morris. Second shot opportunity, and it's Jones. laid in by Jones. Jones has got eight points. That's a blue-collar bucket right there. Grown man basket. Put it in the work. Uh-oh. Anthony Edwards just checked in for the Timberwolves. Ooh, okay. We're just over a minute into this final quarter of play. Branham passes to D. <laughs> Beyond the arc. Oh, he's too far back. Buries it from three. D's got 46. They've been pretty lax with their perimeter defense, giving up a lot of three-pointers. And so in the game for the Spurs. Uh-oh. We've got Jetty Osman, and it's Wesley in at the shooting guard okay. position. If the defender is giving him that much space, the points are inevitable. Here's D. You bet. There's the three. There you go. That's enough. Drops in the Thank three. you. Thank you, Ty. six in the quarter. This defense is getting spaced out. Three of the last five buckets have come from way beyond the arc. Outside Edwards. Ooh. Pass to Morris. The three. No, nah, he didn't do that. Here's D. Three pointer. Reed with the rebound. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't ah. rely on him to miss those kind of shots. Ah, Some changes like for it. Minnesota. Garza comes in for Reed, and why not subbed in for Edwards? And San Antonio also. Damn, did I find that? Women Yamas checked in. Here's Alexander Walker. Pass to Towns. Okay. Tries it from Sorry the top of the key. Blind, the rebound by the Spurs. Wimbun has got 14 rebounds tonight. Going after it. And their physical dominance has been on display. A 10 rebound advantage is a good indicator of how this game has gone. Here's Mama Kelishvili. The shot. It's rebounded by Morris. Really thought he had this one, and the defense, they were giving it to him. Down low. Towns passes to Morris. Here's Alexander Walker. Damn, Coach Mad and me or something. That one doesn't drop. He's four for ten from the field now. Here's Wesley. Well, if you're just tuning in, welcome. We played about three and a half minutes into the fourth quarter here. Six on the shot clock. Oh, Morris with a steal. Here's Minot. How about Morris say coaching this field or something? Here's Towns. And that comes off the assist by Morris. <laughs> Look at Towns asserting himself inside. He knows he can muscle his way Stop to a shot up. anytime. Here's Wimbanyama. And he gets the bucket. wimbanyama has got 31 points. Damn, this guy's just ridiculous. He is just an absolute surgeon when he has the ball. This man is surgical. There is no way to slow him down when he wants to score. Towns can't get it to go. San Antonio has gone two of three from beyond the arc here in the fourth. Oh, we can. Oh, hey. Wimbanyama throws it down. A quality pass setting up a quality shot. It's just textbook basketball. Weak ass Pass to Garza. Here's Towns. Mm -hmm. Here's Minot. The Timberwolves need to get off a shot here. It's deflected. And they're up oh, considerably ow, because of their efforts on the glass. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. First person to foul. And let's quickly foul. check out the it's scoring breakdown out, here dude. for San Antonio. They have found a lot of success in transition. Running at every nah. opportunity and getting points before the defense can get set. Also, lots of hustle on the offensive end. 
following shots and creating tons of second chance opportunities. Come on in. And he knocks down the first one. Got me on up in the so ah. two, and the second one misses. Minnesota's gone 0 for 3 here on the fourth. And there's the basket, and the whistle blows. Who fouled him? Chance at a three point play who, here. Who fouled him? the line for one. Okay. And the Timberwolves I'm about to say, I know I didn't foul. McDaniels checked in. One shot. Free throw good for Morris. The Spurs have gotten four shots out of six attempts to drop so far in the fourth. Here's D to the inside. I didn't mean to do that. Inside. Morris outside. Let's go with a three. Another miss by Minnesota. And Wimbanyama has the ball here for San Antonio. They've allowed just seven points here in the fourth. Do it to them, man. And they're going to count can't that touch you, man. And they'll send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. Do it to yeah, him. Wimpenyama fights for his bucket, using his size to get it done despite the foul. I wounded him. Timberwolves shooting the ball at around 42% for the game. Morris passes to Garza. The three is up. Morris Go. can't hit. The Spurs have gotten five of their seven shots to fall in this final quarter. Here's D, guarded by Morris. Oh. From deep. It's good. He hits another one. <laughs> That's 52 points for him. Making it all look too easy right now. Pass to Garza. Back to Morris. Finds it again. Six for 12 and remaining assertive. And finding his teammate in stride, he led his guy perfectly. D, the pass to Branham. Here's D, guarded by Morris. To the wing, right side. Here's Branham. Pass to D. Three-pointer. Oh, man. No good on the shot. It's in my hand now here's McDaniels. Here. He's guarded closely. Let's it go from 14. Did the same thing again. Takes the three. That shot off. That's his shot. And one, I'm sure, it was he wants two. back. Morris outside. Over Wimbanyama. Oh, it's blocked by Wimbanyama. They get it back. He drops it from range. Morris has got 10 points here in the second half. Collecting plenty of second chance points this half. That alone can keep a team in a game. D can't get it to go. Minnesota has gone just one of six from downtown in this final quarter. Morris outside. Pass to Garza. And that comes off the assist by Morris. Damn, two Morris has got three assists now like in this that. one. We've seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. Here's Branham. Here's D. Launches a three. Alexander Walker oh. grabs the board. Morris on the wing. Going inside. Wow. Oh, slam dunk by Morris. 
Don't have a timeout, please. Job that ain't working. Back end of the play. Yep, finished with both hands, making sure of it. Here's D. There we go. Oh, another one falls. Oh, he's been absolutely ridiculous in this game. To B.A., it feels like he can't miss. Morris outside. Launches it. And another three for Minnesota. And what's working here? Each guy is willing to make the next pass. Here's D. From the arc. Good! Another from three. Man, he's really launching him from outside the arc. Man, so locked in. Feeling confident in his three-point shot tonight. Outside McDaniels. Pass to Garza. Over Wimadyama. The shot by Garza. No good. I think the defender really affected that shot. Here's D. Osman passes to Wesley. Steps back and fires. Nice. Minnesota with a nice. rebound. Hell no. Ooh, it's stolen away. It's two on one. From deep. And go. There's another. Oh, make that 61 points. Everything is going his way right now. Alexander Make Walker, pass to McDaniels. Here's Morris. Pass to McDaniels. Out to the wing. Six to shoot. Ooh, once again, off the mark by Minnesota. Smooth sailing for San Antonio. There's a minute 47 left in the fourth quarter. Releases. And again, oh. it's San Antonio converting. He'll be asking for some lottery numbers later if he keeps knocking down shots like that. Morris passes to Garza. Here's Alexander Walker. Pass to Minot. It's McDaniels on the wing. To end the run. It's hauled in by Wimbanyama. Wimbun Yama's got his 18th rebound here tonight, all over the place. And what a complete performance we saw from them. A dominant win in every way for the Spurs. And everything seemed to go their way today. They were firing on all cylinders, uh, Grant. Yeah, B.A., this was the kind of performance one. you relish as a player. Just a right very way. impressive win. Add this one to the win column. Their 57th of the year. And it's clear who the better team is. They sweep the four-game season series, just dominating them. And when you look at the game, the one thing that helped fuel this team to victory was the efficiency for D. Steals oh, are come on. Stat. We don't talk about them a ton, but he's been huge in that category. You know, not the smartest play a defender can make there. Morris. And he's good on the first of three. Some changes for Minnesota. Rudy Gobert's checked in for Garza. T.J. Warren comes in for Minot. And it's Edwards in for McDaniels. Collins, he's checked in for San Antonio. Boyan Bogdanovich, he comes in for Branham. And he's good on the second. And he can't make it three for three. Good. You hope that leaving points at the line won't come back to haunt them. Fires from deep. Warren with the rebound. And here's Warren. He'll bring it up for the Minnesota Timberwolves. I made it. 26 seconds left to play in the fourth. Takes one from 10 feet. Shot is good by Edwards. Wow, what a move from Edwards. He's fantastic at creating for himself. Pass to Wesley. Here's D. Guarded by Morris. Here's D. Let's it go from deep. The shot off that time. And so it's San Antonio easily grabbing this one. This one wasn't even close. The hometown crowd was waiting for a miracle that never came. Yeah, and this team was consistent throughout. They met every challenge, and they earned this dub. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. 
for the entire 2K Sports crew, this is uh, Brian ooh. Anderson saying thanks for watching. So long, everyone. That up, Mike. Yeah, it was looking like like a fireman and shit. Uh huh. With the all blue on. You have somebody trying to say tire. I can get another. I'll get you paid when I can do it. Okay. You know I'm good for it. Yeah, yeah. I'm just having it rough right now, brother. Yeah, yeah. Did, did I say, did you, you even get a check? Nah, nah, it ain't, nah I don't get it till the night. It's Wednesday night. I get mine Wednesday night. Tonight's Wednesday. Yeah, I get it Wednesday night, like Tonight. like twelve. Yeah. You get yours, let me know, cause I don't okay. know how. If they got them on my shit straight, I. I doubt if I get mine anyway. I ain't getting them but twenty four hours. That was for last week. That was the week we worked. You didn't work another day after that. Uh uh. I only worked. I only worked. Uh. See, I, was out I only worked Monday and Tuesday. I didn't work. I didn't work uh, Friday. So, you know what I'm saying? We already had Wednesday and Thursday off, so I only oh, work Monday, Monday and Tuesday. Tuesday. Yeah, but I, I doubt if I do, cause you know child support get that shit. But I might get a little. I might get a little about twelve cent. No, I might get a little something. But I'll let you know if I do though. Uh, if I'm seeing you some money, I'll send you some money. Yeah, yeah, cause. Uh, yeah, I already knew. I was like, uh, I wasn't even banking on this week, but I was hoping yeah, like if you, nobody didn't, you know, take out for my child support, I get paid. But I wasn't, I wasn't banking on this shit. Then we don't go back to the eighth. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Then you know the the time we put in for next for this week will be on the when we go back to work. Then we're gonna get another check for like fucking two weeks. Nah, we won't get another check till okay, when we go back to work, which is next week, we'll be seeing the check from my vacation days we put in. You know what I'm saying? Be in our vacation days. Yeah. That's when we go back to work. That's when that Wednesday, that's when it'll just right back in order. That'll be uh, that Wednesday. That'll be our vacation week. check. Yeah, Wednesday. That's hell we had to use our vacation. I don't give a damn. As long as I hell yeah, cause it ain't worth it. Waiting on damn unemployment, boy. You got to go down there and fight them. Hey, you going to spend your damn money that you get on your check. <laughs> down there to, just, just check. to talk to them. Yeah. You're wasting an hour or two. Yeah, yeah. Don't you fuck it, man. I appreciate you, boy. All right, man. No problem, I don't know. Know. Yeah. I don't really know, man. Hey. Hey, I'm dirty. Sorry. Shh. I had to help him, man. Yeah, hey, I, no, I ain't nothing wrong with that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, what did he say? Thank you. Did he say thank you? Yeah, he was young. He actually, I showed him how to change. He ain't never, he was a young boy. Oh, okay, you know, okay. Boy. Yeah. He didn't know how to even change tire. He had a brand new he Colorado was, pickup truck. Damn! I know it. Brand new, man. I had to get the jack out. With an EBT cut. Nah, this is what I'm saying. With an EBT cut. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I think EBT. Oh, EBT going. Yeah, he going to the grocery store. You got it. <laughs> right. He going to go get him something to eat. Yeah. All right, y'all. Y'all be careful, man. Hey, I like it, shirt. Sure. Oh, yeah.
That was perfect timing.